The nation's infrastructure stock is set to witness significant boost as the federal government has opened the bidding process for the concession of some of the federal highways under its Highway Development Management Initiative, HDMI, with 11 companies out of the earlier shortlisted 18 companies coming out with successful uh, in the value-added concession. The government, through the HDMI, sought to facilitate uh, the development of parts of the Nigeria's 35,000 kilometers of federal highway uh, network by bringing order efficiency, uh, accountability, and profitability on entrepreneurship to the operations, management, and maintenance of the of all the assets within the right of way, uh, which has and they marked a 12 strategic routes for concession. It is worthy of note that the Highway Development Management Initiative, a novel initiative created by the Ministry of Works and Housing, is aimed at further attracting private sector funds in roads construction and rehabilitation across the country. To give us more insight into this, uh, joining me live, I said earlier, is the Executive Director of DMA Group, Mr. Bolao Olojede. Good afternoon. It's good to see you. Good afternoon. Nice to be here. Yes. Uh, let's start with uh enlightening nigerians let people understand because the last time we talked about this uh at the onset of the in the, or the hdmi now some have not been following this take us through what this is focused on what do what's the government what do they really intend to achieve with this scheme okay good um hdmi highway development and management, management initiative, initiative. Uh, what has been established over the years is the fact that government's revenue it's not enough to breach the infrastructure gap that we have in this country. Therefore, government must be able to mobilize the private capital and private management competence to come into that space and assist to bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. So the Ministry of Works, um, Federal Ministry of Works, has been doing a bit in that direction. You've seen the Sukuk bond and some of the effects are even here in Lagos that we can feel. It also went ahead to do the, uh, the tax credit and then you have this HDMI. Under the HDMI, what it plans to do is, in the first phase, concession about 5.6% of the federal highways to private companies to manage under a PPP arrangement. That is essentially what this is all about. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and we've had PPP pro we've had problems with all this kind of schemes before. So the, the, the ministry is trying to do this right. In my opinion, I, I think that is what they're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So you can see the last time we spoke about this was, was about seven months yes, ago, yes. about June. Yes. They are about last year. And here we are again because the ministry has moved a step forward or a couple of steps forward. So, so, so this is not the same as privatization, handing this over to some friend uh, of government and all of that? No, absolutely not. This is private, public-private partnership, a PPP initiative in which government asset is concessioned under the value uh, uh, asset concession scheme to private organizations who will bring in capital and management expertise to put this road uh, in, in good use sustainably for us. Mm, interesting stuff. Now, let tell me, uh, or tell Nigerians and tell us uh, exactly what happened on Wednesday with the public bid opening which held in Abuja. Yeah, I... On, on Wednesday, what, we, what the federal ministry tried to do, or did, was open the beat for the, the, the RFP. In June, it was the RFQ. Yeah. That's the request for quotation. Now, the request for quotation has gone through some sort of evaluation. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an evaluation process out of which you look at, oh, these are all the people that showed interest. Well, out of these uh, many people, these are the ones that we have shortlisted. Now, those ones that were shortlisted will now go to the next step, which is RFP. So for the RFP, there's also a deadline. So those people uh, that passed through the RFP that submitted their bid were what was being opened on uh, Wednesday. Mm, now, like you said, the RFQ bid was in June 2021. Correct. RFP, two days ago, um, the gap is eight months. Correct. Why did we have to wait that long? What, why taking so long between the two stages? I, I would think um, it's, it's an attempt by the ministry to ensure that we're not jumping the gun, that mm. we do this right. It's, it's not about rushing into it and doing it the wrong way. So within this period, you've seen the ministry, for example, get the tolling policy approved. Now, if you're going to get 
the private people to participate in toll roads or, 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 or in road concession, they want to understand the law that will guide the tolling. What is the, what is the provision for tolling that exists? If there was no such government policy, then they need to put it in place before this, PPA, this uh, private organization will be able to take the next step, which is the RFP. So within that period, they've been able to put that tolling, uh, uh, whatever, uh, the tolling policy in place. Yes. At the same time, uh, when you look at those corridors, there are communities that exist in those corridors. So whatever we are going to do will have impact, mm -hmm. social impact, environmental impact on those communities. There is need for certain engagement yes. and probably the development of, of, of some sort of framework that will guide how we will engage with this community and how we will ensure that they are also beneficiaries of whatever we are doing along their corridor. So over this same period also, uh, the ministry had managed to develop uh, a framework for that, uh, which is called environmental and social management framework. So having achieved these two things, it was time to move on to the next stage, which is the RFP. And that was what... Um, so, so, so is this normal with the PPP procurement um, process, or is there a peculiar case to this? Um, the RFQ program? moving to RFP is a, is a, is a, is a normal... Is a normal, is a normal, normal process. Correct. Oh, okay. So um, what does this outcome represent to this entire scheme uh, at this point where we are uh, now? Does it mean that those 11 firms that have won the concession to take over those federal highways they'll be dead for, or what will be the next thing to be done? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, what we have had, if you know where we, we remember where we're coming from, we had 75 people who showed interest. The 75 became 18 via a shortlisting yeah. process. Out of the 18, 18 11, 11 had submitted the RFP. So the RFP will now go through an evaluation process. So I, I believe the ministry will have developed, or if they have not, they will go ahead and develop an evaluation criteria. So uh, th that is what will determine who and who will qualify and how each of these people that bid will be graded. So you need to grade them. Some weights may be attached to certain metric and then you grade them. It's after you do that that you can now arrive at who are your preferred bidders, who are the reserve bidders for which road and, and, and all of that. So mm. that, that, that's the next thing. It's an evaluation to arrive at your preferred and the reserve bidders. Uh, because I, I was wondering, because when I asked earlier about the difference between privatization and this, because I think Nigerians need to really understand that this is not the same as privatization. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think enough of awareness is on with regards to this? People are just, just uh, HDMI? What's HDMI? Uh, I, what I, I, I think we need to do, I think the, 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 uh, the ministry in charge will need to do, do much more. better. I saw a few misleading yeah. you know, news items exactly. in the paper. There was even a newspaper that said uh, $2 trillion approved for HDMI. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That must have been an approval for something like $1.2 trillion. It must have been an approval for something else. The HDMI is still in the process of the RFP level. So the issue of approval of an amount does not even exist at this stage that we are. Then privatization involves handing over the ownership to the private sector, the ownership, you privatize it. So they become shareholders. In the case of the HDMI, we're, we're not uh, giving the ownership of those assets to the private sector. We're concessioning it to them to manage and operate. So the federal government reserves the ownership, ownership of that. And the terms of the concession will be as in the concession agreement, which will be drafted uh, and, and agreed to by both parties where, uh, at, at the right junction. Mm. Uh, I'm also thinking uh, that would there be, it looks too much of positive, positives. So, uh, any challenges in this process uh, that you think that we might encounter since it's like a long journey? It's a, it's a long journey. And I, I believe that the, the ministry will have faced some challenges already, already. Uh, in the course of yeah. getting approval for, for policy because they had to engage uh, National Union of Road Transport Workers, RTEAN, Naruto, uh, and a, lo a whole lot of engagement has been happening. And some of the feedback from those engagements will have been things that will require negotiations, discussion, before they can arrive at something that is approvable. You know. And then when they go along those corridors and start to engage with the communities, I'm sure they will have encountered some issues as well. And this, we're not true with where issues will come from, which is why, in my opinion, uh, the ministry will need to do more about 
engagement. Mm. Engagement, use the HDMI website which has been opened or link which has been opened for more information to yeah. the people. Let yeah. them know what is going on. Yeah. It is this constant engagement with the people that will help in citizens' education regarding what they are trying to do. Y yes, like, like I said, the minister mentioned categorically that this will be a long process. Yes, known. But um, he also says it will be rewarding uh, at the end of the day. What is your take? Do you share that optimism? And why? Or why not? Okay. <laughs> if, we, if we sustain yes. the good work, if we're not in a hurry, if we're not going to abandon this and then change it to the historical way we used to concession things in this country, then we are on the path for a rewarding process. And that rewarding process, we even go further to help us do more. Now we are saying there are 14.4 or 14.3 percent of federal highway road that qualifies for this. But for yeah, in I wanted the, to ask too. In the first phase, we are just doing 5.6 percent. Okay. If we don't do the 5.6 percent right, we will have challenges right? with going to 14. And in fact, the 5.6 that we do, we might even have challenges executing it. So it is in the interest of all stakeholders that we're able to move this further so that we can use private capital and management competence to transform our infrastructure space. Most of the costs we bear today, including part of the component of that inflation figures that we see, is the cost of infrastructure. Yes. If I need to move something from Niger to Lagos, mm. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? It is a cost so of I, I, wanted, I wanted to ask yeah. how strategic are some of these roads, uh, you know, business like or what? Or how do they just, how do they make the selections? <laughs> um, you know, it's a, it's a sensitive country we live in when it comes to those kind of things. So yeah. if you look at those roads, you see some element of regionalization. Yeah. So they feel so from literally the geopolitical across zones that region. And all of that. Uh, then they've also looked at the activities, the level of activities on those on those roads. So the roads that a lot of people are applying and, and all that stuff, it shows that we need to pay attention to those to get the maximum effect faster than the roads that are less that are less used. So the, the regionalization thing is there, the level of activities on those roads is also part of the considerations for arriving at what has been selected. Before I let you go, mm -hmm. uh, interesting conversation uh, as usual having you. Uh, the the public-private partnership scheme when you say public private partnership in building roads in infrastructure development and all of that is also different from hdmi or is it like the same it is, it is <laughs> it's similar it is hdmi is a public private public partnership, partnership initiative just too. just like uh, some other ones that we we have seen around okay it's a, it's a model because you're concessioning oh. when you look at the spectrum of concession it start from an extreme level where you actually more or less privatized. That is the extreme level. Yeah. And then the other part is where the government still retain a whole part of both the ownership and the management. In between those two extremes are various shades of partnership that could happen. This is one of those shades of partnership. We expect that mm -hmm. one way or the other this will help address our road issues I, across I the country. I agree so too. <laughs> it's positive thus far. Let's sustain it. And let the ministry keep engaging and don't be in a hurry. It might, it might just be that thing that will help us unlock uh, our road infrastructure. Well, thank you for always uh, giving clarity to some of these issues. Uh, Mr. Bolao Olojade is Executive Director, DMA Group there, letting us understand what the HDMI means. And I'm saying uh, this looks very good. And uh, let's see how the benefits, the positives start to trickle in so that we can at least... Drive Lagos, drive all around, all around the country. All around the country. <laughs> we should be able to do all that. All around the country. <laughs> I must thank you again for your time. My pleasure, it's mine. Enjoy your mine. weekend. Oh, well, thanks. All I right, then. All right, then. Now, uh...